Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Thursdays. Ship with me. Is it Thursday? It is Thursday. Thursday, ship with me on eBay and Poshmark, I think. <laughs> Yes, eBay and Poshmark today. Couple, couple on Posh and what seven something on eBay? Seven on eBay, two on Posh. Yeah. We are coming out here pretty quickly because we want to show you what is selling. If you're not selling anything, it's okay. Yeah. These days, right before a holiday like this, are normally super slow for mm -hmm. us. A gift giving holiday, yeah. such as Hanukkah and Christmas. People are out at the stores last minute buying and they can't get things shipped in time. Right. So the fact that we have nine sales is pretty stunning. I would agree with that. Four of the sales are things that we listed last night and yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Four of them are overnighters. So That's ridiculous. But if we hadn't listed them... Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> and all four things were from our death pile. Mm-hmm. They were just... Stuff that was just sitting. <laughs> sitting in our house. I'm so embarrassed to say it. Uh, so hopefully you can learn something and maybe the lesson here is just keep listing because people are still shopping. Yeah. We can't really predict what they're shopping for. Right. Okay. All right. Let's start. Let's get to it. Uh, let's start with the Poshmark, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pendleton oh. shirt is up first. This shirt we got at the Colorado bins, which is just not surprising to me. Okay. It's Pendleton and it is super cool. We've had a couple of cool Pendleton shirts come through our house yeah. since we've been resellers. Um, here's the brand. Not all Pendleton is created equal. That is a very true statement. We do better. This is a mixed media. It has like the sleeves are different from the pocket, different from the base of the shirt. More of a hipster kind of look, if I can say that. Yeah, These sure. do better for us. The plain ones, not as good. Yeah. This sold for 60 And awesome. it's had, like, so much interest on all the platforms, and we were just waiting for the right buyer. This is one of the rare thing, the rare cases where we do counter offer, because we knew how much that one was worth. There were sold comps of that exact shirt and style, so we knew what it was worth. It's worth about 70 to be fair, but 60 was good, especially right now. Did you get the shooter? I did not. I was going to get the grabber to go get it. You need the grabber? Yeah, because it's up on B. B yeah, well, that's the next thing. So we were talking the other day in the comments about weird <laughs> stuff. So, I don't know what happened. Anyway, we were talking about weird things selling on Posh, so you guys encouraged me to cross-list everything, and I did. i just been cross-listing everything. I don't care what it is. I cross-list it. I sold the super shooter. The super shooter. I wanted to use this so badly. As seen on TV. I thought these did much better. There was a time <laughs> where they were kind of like a little bit of a bolo. That time has passed. Yes. This sold for $20. Okay. It looks like it's going to fit in a regional box perfectly. It does it's a Poshmark. Way, doesn't it? And I swear we've had this. What's the ticket say? Oh. No ticket? Um, yeah, ticket says... 2021 on it. Yeah, we've definitely had it for over a year. Yeah, it's just a fit to really? buy for the, oh, yeah, the A. For the A. Uh oh. If we just put some B's down here, you wouldn't have to spider down all the time. <laughs> but the people love it. They love it. It doesn't it's really matter. Medium you can, flat rate. Yeah, you can put in a medium flat rate. This one's gonna be. This one's gonna be it. All right. So there are some really cool lessons to learn in today's video, which is why we're coming on here. Not because we don't have enough videos to show you, because we certainly do. <laughs> we're getting ready to film a whole bunch. We were trying to figure out all the ways to say, deck the halls. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Happy holidays. <laughs> There's another one. All the all the. All puns. Are I'm trying coming. to think of more. Uh, is there any void fill within reach? Oh, I gotta get up. <laughs> Yo, I forgot to tell you, it's 10 degrees in Dallas. Do you understand what that means? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, it's on its way down to 12. We are, no, it's stupid. 10. We are, right I, now? Know, like, I have no idea what I just handed you, but it sounds perfect. This is whatever. This will work. Uh, let me look on my watch. No, it's going down to 10. It's 20 right now. 20. But it's going to 10. Yep. As soon as the sun goes down in a couple of hours, it's going to be 10 degrees or lower. 
It was snow flurrying this morning. We are just not set up for this. And I'm from the East Coast where we, I'm used to snow. But what I didn't, so I'm just like, what's well, some snow? Why are you guys complaining? It's just, it's cold. What I didn't understand is that houses like ours that were built in 1917 yep. are not insulated. They don't, they're not made for snow. So like underneath our house, when we were uh, renovating, we took up the floor and took up the subfloor because part of it needed to be replaced. It's just dirt. There's nothing. So it's subfloor and then dirt. <laughs> there's no insulation. So the ground gets so cold because there's nothing to insulate. Your pipes aren't insulated. Nothing's insulated. Um, yeah, in the cross. Space, if I took like... off my shoes and stood on this floor now, like it would be very cold. Oh yeah. And that's where that's where people that are not from Texas they don't understand why Texas has such an issue with the cold. We're not set up for it here. <laughs> uh, we need to take those pool noodles and crawl under the house. Our pipes burst last year. Yeah. It was bad not, and not good. There was some Russian rapids under the house. <laughs> And so we're, you know, we got to keep the faucets running. We got to just make sure our house doesn't implode. Okay. Mm, eBay. Yes. This brand is fantastic. We listed this last night. We were listing a bunch of dresses last night because as we were going through the death pile, I couldn't give these to April to take pictures of because she doesn't have a form to take them on. And anyway, we wanted to get all the big stuff out of the way that we keep like... I'm having to move to like uh, walk it's like you know, uh, you know what i'm talking about all right this is a really <laughs> still a really solid brand if you've never seen it or if you haven't you've passed it mm Lafleur. we love picking up this brand this is a purple violet blue shifting <laughs> to shift dress and it's called mm oh i was going to show them the ticket i keep forgetting mm Lafleur, the emily dress size 14 blue a line zip up three-quarter sleeve pockets that was Always my title with the pockets we got i put it for 79.95 i think as the price and then someone came in about an hour after listing at 69 dollars offer sold yeah plus 12.99 shipping no 8.99 oh is it first class yes oh i was thinking of those bridesmaids dresses first class all right well, how many? 16. right at all right, so that's a really good brand to pick up. Yep. I knew it was a good brand, but I, I couldn't find any real sold comps, so I'm surprised that sold so fast. Yeah. Um, Bugle Boy, <laughs> I got this at the bins. Y'all, I couldn't leave it. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I grew up in the 90s, the 80s and 90s, I guess. And, um, like, you know, all the cute boys in elementary school will be wearing this. <laughs> that exact shirt, yeah. This, this exact shirt. I think my cousins all had this shirt. I don't know. I don't want to take it all the way out here. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like all night. It's like Saved by the Bell. Oh, it totally is, yeah. And so it's like teal. Uh, I pick up stuff like this at the bins, and then I get scared to list it. So this, I listed it for 30 and I wasn't getting any offers. And then... Somebody sent in an offer. It's been listed probably... Does it have a date on it? I don't know. It says 22. It, I think it's been listed two months or three months. And it sold for fifteen ninety five plus shipping. Eh. I mean, it wasn't in perfect condition, but I couldn't leave it at the bins. That was never going to happen. Nope. You guys know I have... The, and some of you have said you do too, where you're just like, I can't let it go to the dumpster. It's like, survive this long. <laughs> right. Speaking of surviving this long, oh my gosh, you guys have to wait for this. Uh-oh. Our next segment... We have segments? Yeah, we have segments now. Okay, cool. Uh, eight ounces. <laughs> I cannot leave German things behind at the bins. Yeah, the stimmt. Immer wenn sie was Deutsches findet, muss es kaufen. Jedes Mal. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these sold. I got them at the bins. But I was going to show you something else that we haven't listed yet, but that I couldn't. Can you get those? <laughs> they survived. Oh, these? Yeah. Dan, explain to our German viewers what they're looking at here. Well, that that is from Holland, you see. What's yeah, but they're like little, little, uh, <laughs> little, uh, what do you call that region? Uh, what do we, when we went on the cruise? Anyway, I can't. I, I forgot the name of the it's region. It's too bright, but I, these little kerosene lamps, yeah. I couldn't leave them. They survived. These little globes survived. Oh, Kinder Egg. Kinder Egg. Yeah. I don't need these at all. No. I don't even <laughs> want these. But people were thrashing stuff around, and I'm like, oh, no. There's, oh, no. It's a matching pair. Yeah. The brother and sister, 
we're gonna have to put them in our house. They're so not even worth anything, but they survived. They're from 1914 or something. Are they really that yes. old? Yes. Dang. And you know, I'm just like, I guess we own these now. We own those now. That's for sure. Anyway, these German dolls. Here you go. <laughs> These are just like little touristy things, but they were in the package and they're very cute and I can't leave German stuff. So original, I don't know, I don't know what any of this means. Uh, they sold for $15. 15 and the cops weren't bucks. great. Oh my gosh, their eyes. Oh. The, do the, the eyes work? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Creepy, creepy. But you would get these at like, at like a tourist shop. Um, original Schneider. They're handmade. I mean, so they're cute. And but I just couldn't find any sold comps. So I just listed it anyway. I listed them for 20 and someone offered 15 And now they don't have to go to the dump. Can you imagine these little... Look at their little faces. Can you imagine their little faces in the dumpster? They would say, no. <laughs> <laughs> their eyes work. It's very strange. Uh, okay. The ring light does not like that. No. This is a very large box, but whatever. Oh, I had a box each one. Box, I guess it's I'll just put some... Some bubble around for the journey. Mm. That's so cute. Just fine. Okay. Perfect. They're wedged. You just never know why someone's gonna buy, you know. Maybe someone used to have those, or maybe someone has a German son-in-law. My mom would buy those for Dan, being like, you like this? <laughs> <laughs> what is she? Absolutely, yeah. Five ounces. Somebody probably went and typed in German gift, because that was definitely in my description. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. This is another banger brand. Banger brand. If Pay you attention. don't know, now you do. And this sold overnight. We listed this last night live. This is Tadashi Shoji. And this is a lower end of Tadashi Shoji. I mean, obviously the tag doesn't say that, but it's made out of polyester. So the bottom of this was completely filthy. Yep. And we went ahead and listed it anyway because you couldn't see it in the photos. And after Dan read me the fabric content, I'm like, oh, I'll just put that in the washing machine. It had, you know, somebody had drug it through the mud or whatever. Yeah. It came out perfect. It came out totally, yeah, fine. So I just put it in the wash last night, and then it sold. While it was in the washing machine. It sold. <laughs> Amazing. It sold so fast, and it's going to Japan, which I'm, like, super excited about. Yeah, you can see it. Do you want to show them the dress? Oh, sure. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I put, um... Sadashi so Shoji size extra small navy blue dress gown rouge sweetheart neck bridesmaid prom. Was trying all to hit the things. all the things. Yep. And Dan did some really intricate measurements. You know, you do the whole length and the waist and the bust and all of that. And it sold for $40 and it is going GSP to Japan. And I'm really excited because I know $40 seems low. It probably should have sold for $60, $65, maybe even $70. But the fact that it sold so quickly and it's been in my face for a year hanging on that rack, every time we enter our office, we have to pass our death pile. We thought that was a good idea, right? Because yeah. it would be like, well, list it. We no. did it. We just pass it. Kind of like come through the curtains of death pile. <laughs> anyway, 40 bucks. I was stoked. And if we would just listed it earlier, it could have sold. Ah, what a coulda, shoulda, right? Right. So we do eBay international shipping on things that are under two pounds. And then if it's over that, and we're gonna put it in a box, uh, GSP is the the only international option that folks have. So we had charged $12.99 to ship this. It is quite heavy. And then GSP picked it up because we don't ship internationally to Japan on our own. That is not one of our included countries. Nope. So this is staying in a regional area because it's yep. just gotta go to Kentucky. Exactly right. Okay, so the next thing is a kid's item. I listed two kid's items yesterday that April took pictures of and both sold. Sweet. This brand is Hannah Anderson. And the comps weren't great, but she had already taken photos of them, so I'm like, I guess I'm listing them. <laughs> I don't normally pick up children's clothing. This was a cute, it's like seasonal buffalo plaid, that kind uh -huh. of. Yeah. 
Uh, Hannah Anderson dress size 120, six to seven. I like to put both because they have their own sizing construct. Uh, blue black, buffalo check flannel, pockets cotton. And it sold for $14.95 within a couple of hours of listing, plus shipping. I know. And that was, again, sitting in a death pile somewhere. So happy to see that have a new home for sure. Okay, this next, this next is a J. Jill Keys. And it's just a regular cami tank top with lace on it. It's just like a camisole, a tank top, basic. There's nothing, basic. Yep. there's nothing about it. Um, 46 cents was our cost of goods. And um, it sold for $14. We got an offer. I was happy to take that. Plus shipping. Great. And now it's off. Six ounces. Okay, the next thing and the last thing is a learning experience. Okay. This is a good brand for kids. They have a lot of Disney collabs and they mm. do really, really well. So this one had a flaw. April took the picture and noted that there was a flaw. The brand is Taylor Joel. If you see this and it has a tutu skirt, it's probably a Disney collab. This had a flaw and I couldn't find it on Google Lens in the first like minute or so. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, nope, because I would go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> the most that these go for are like 20 bucks, 20, 30, if it's really good. Like if it's one of the snow white ones or whatever, right? I'm pretty sure this is a Disney collab. I could not figure out which, I'll show you. I'll just take it out. Yeah. I couldn't figure out which Disney collab it was instantly. And I was trying to list 20 things in an hour. I was just going. And it's the flaw isn't even that big. She's got a little stain on the front there at the bottom. I did not attempt to stain treat it. So what I'm learning is that if it's under a certain threshold worth, yeah. it's not worth your time. People will still buy things that are flawed if they want them. And it's not worth my time researching to figure out exactly what this was. So I listed it for $9.95 plus $4.99 shipping. Okay. It sold within 10 minutes. Nice. Could I have gotten another $10 out of this? Yes. But would it have been worth my time to clean it and research it? Yep. No way. So I priced it for what I thought it could go for. The ones that weren't Disney collabs were going for like 10, 12 bucks. And I was like, all right. Something about the print on that makes me think it's some kind of Disney princess situation. I don't know which one. So I didn't put it in the title. I didn't even put Disney. I just put Taylor Joel Girl Size 6 Purple Lavender Tutu Dress Small Flaw. And I put small flaw in all caps. It's so sold. So this person definitely knew that there was a flaw in this. <laughs> I get worried sometimes, you know, when you price something lower because you put it in the condition field, but yeah. not a lot of people read. Not a lot of people read. That is so true. So this sold, I mean, almost instantly. So I'm really happy about that. And sold for $9.95 plus $4.99 shipping, which it was in our death pile. And now it's going to a new home. Yay! <laughs> all right that guy's nine ounces all right so those are our nine things i was hoping to get to 10 things today but nine things right before christmas i'm not mad about it nope. I have the list? thank you Also bought a whole bunch of after the the holiday break we go see a bunch of hauls and then I also bought a bunch of stuff off Poshmark and other websites of Eileen Fisher <laughs> to prove a point so hopefully we'll get that video out to you too low dollar like okay, sourced online at reseller from resellers because I hear a lot that you can't find mm. stuff in your area not from 
everybody, but some people say that. So I was like, I'm gonna see if I can find this stuff online. And I did. So use your holiday break and like shop other people. Some people aren't resellers, right? They just wanna get rid of their stuff. Just gotta figure out a way to, to... I have some hot tips about that too. Hot tips. Misspellings are great. I do research the term. These are all the hot tips. I'm going to give them to you. Holiday special right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I spell Eileen Fisher wrong. I spell it a couple different ways wrong. With one E and then F-I-S-C-H-E-R. That's a good one. Uh-huh. And... That's smart. Smart. I also... My favorite way to do it is you go to Poshmark or Mercari and type in, I just didn't like it. <laughs> Stop. It's my favorite. <laughs> because people that aren't resellers, they don't know that the title is supposed to be the item. <laughs> They're, spo- they're just telling you why it's for sale. Like, it's okay. It's not broken. Nothing's wrong with it. I just didn't like it. <laughs> if you don't believe me, go try it. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. If you like that tip, leave leave your hot tip down below or a thumbs up. Y'all, we need some engagement on these videos. Yeah, come on. Fire. That's what you need. If you like the hot tips, leave us fire emojis yes. in the description. No other words. Just fire emojis and see if everybody else does it, too. That would be awesome. All right. This is the MM Lafleur. Le Fleur. Le Fleur. Uh, the Bugle Boy shirt. That is a cute shirt. I hope some of, like somebody's wearing it in their little family photos or something. The German dolls, yeah. Yeah. Schneider. Fräulein Schneider. She's mm-hmm. in cabaret, do you know? Now you do. Now you do. Um, the Tadashi Shoji in this big old oh. box. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that's so fast. If you can find Tadashi Shoji that's not like evening wear, you know, because this is kind of like big box. I don't, know. I don't know if they sell it at David's Bridal, but something similar like that, right? But if you can find just like regular, it sells for a whole lot. The Hannah Emerson. Um, J. Jill, Kenny. Taylor Joel. Awesome. All right, everybody. We're going to go brave the cold with this stuff to the post office. And we'll be back in just a second to talk profit. Yes. I don't know about today. Mm. <laughs> Jeremy, what are you doing up here? You guarding the McAllister house? <laughs> Oh boy. What? 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 Me? You want more treats? You always want treats. That's all you want. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. (laughs) Oh, you want a treat too? Of course you do. All right, here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy. All right, I gotta go to the post office. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. Hi. Hey. Okay. So two more sales came in after you left. Oh, is that right? You've been at the post office forever. Yeah. Ha 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 Look at that. <laughs> Just made it. Just made it. Nine items sold today. Three hundred in revenue and two hundred one eleven in profit. Okay. This number is very slim. Here's a couple of reasons why. Our cost of goods was low. A lot of the things we sold came from the bins. Yes. Which is awesome. 
Also, four of the things we sold were just listed, meaning they didn't go on sale. Because when we list stuff that's new, it doesn't go into our sale that runs constantly. Right, okay. For a couple of weeks. We kind of hold off on putting it on sale. And there's no promotion because we don't promote freshly listed items either because eBay's algorithm kind of promotes them for free for the first couple of days. For being new listings, right? Yeah, that new listing bump. Yep. So we don't do that. So we paid less fees and our cost of goods were lower so that we're getting that two-thirds, one-third situation going on here, which a third for us in fees is great. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Normally, it's like 40% or something like that, you know? So For sure. I think that's what helped us get us right over the edge of our goal. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so very much for hanging out with us today. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you live listing, right? Yeah. At 7.30 p.m. Central yeah. tonight on the other channel, which if you don't know about it, there's a link to it down below in the description. Come hang out. We have a good time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.